For years, I thought that social media was the worst thing to happen to humanity, and I would constantly slate it for negatively affecting my mental health. And actually, in a lot of the videos on my channel, I talk about the negative impact of it, and how being addicted to scrolling through bullshit on your phone is preventing you from becoming the best version of yourself. But it's not like I've said anything out of the ordinary with those things. I mean, everybody knows how destructive it is to use our phones 24-7. But actually, when you really think about it, are we just using it as an excuse for our lack of action? And is it really as bad as we all make it out to be? Well, I don't think so. And actually, I'm pretty sure that it could be the best thing to ever happen to us. And that's a bloody big statement. But it all boils down to one thing, and that is the way that you use it which makes the difference. Because at the end of the day, social media is a tool, right? And if you use it correctly, I believe that you can absolutely reap the rewards and benefits that it offers. But it did take me a long time to first of all realise this and second of all put this realisation into action. But let's break this down properly and talk about how you can use social media to your advantage. But first I want to talk about some of my own experiences and I'll start by saying that when I was at uni a few years ago and even slightly after university had finished. I used social media for all of the wrong reasons and for all of the wrong ways. I followed influencers and Instagram models and I spent hours just endlessly scrolling through just absolute rubbish content that was completely useless to me. It provided me with no real value and quite frankly I, I didn't I didn't even care about it. It made me feel useless and even somewhat depressed. But for some reason, I just kept going back to it and I kept investing my time into it, which I guess ultimately led to me doing absolutely full productive and living a miserable life full of procrastination and my grades suffered heavily and I cared about it, obviously. And I was well aware that my addiction to social media was probably the main cause. But I just didn't know how to get out of the shit routine I was in. And this led to me hating social media and just thinking it was the worst thing to ever exist in our generation. But after many years of deactivating and reactivating my accounts, my opinion and addiction with social media has slowly started to alter. It's not perfect and I'm still working on it, but it's much better than it was. And I do believe that if used in the correct way, social media can definitely be the best thing to happen to our generation. So what have I learned and how can you use it to your advantage. Now first of all boys, you want to understand that there are two different types of people that use social media. You've got the producer and then you've got the consumer and these are pretty much self-explanatory. You've got the consumer who consumes content and then the producer who produces content. But in order for the producer to produce, he or she also has to most probably consume content occasionally. But this is where the importance in what you are actually consuming lies. Because if you are consuming things like memes or celebrity news or just the news in general, I genuinely think you are just simply wasting your time on this planet. Like, I just do, straight up. And I think there are no two ways about this. Because you are literally feeding your brain with information that isn't useful to you on a personal level. I mean, can you even remember the last piece of information like this that you consumed? Can you remember the last meme that you watched? Or can you remember, I don't know, the last model that you saw on Instagram? Probably not. And if you can, you're more than likely going to forget it by tomorrow. So trust me, this type of content is absolutely useless. And this is the kind of content that I believe has a negative impact on your mental health. And this is the type of content that I used to consume all of the time. And it's also what the majority of people are still addicted to and spend their time doing. But you and I aren't aspiring to be like the majority of people. Because we understand that if we head in the same direction as everybody else, 
we are quite simply going the wrong way. So what we wanna do is become selective consumers. And by becoming a selective consumer, you don't just wanna absorb useless negative information like a parasite, no because instead you want to find and absorb quality educational material that can help you become the person that you actually want to be. But only you can control this. So you need to be strict with yourself and ensure you don't give in to your brain and feed it the dopamine hit that it so desperately wants from bullshit memes and bullshit pieces of content that you see on Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and instead actively consume material that can improve your mindset and your life. Just think you are pretty much the product of the information that you consume. It's literally that simple. And one step that's even better than becoming a selective consumer is to become a producer. And being a producer will mean that you create your own valuable content and post it to your social media accounts. And in the process, you will provide so many positive things like providing value to other people, gaining confidence in yourself, actually retaining the information in your head that you have learned, growing a following, which could eventually become your business and a source of income, attracting a community of people who understand and believe in the same things that you do and who will push you to consistently be a producer and not a consumer and stepping out of your comfort zone, which is how we grow as people. So as I said, social media doesn't just have to be a massive time waster and something that always negatively affects your mind. Because with the power of the internet and social media, it is literally easier than it ever has been to learn anything that you want. And the best thing about it is everybody has the same opportunity and well, pretty much everyone has access to it. But it is your responsibility to ensure that you use it to your advantage and that you use it wisely. So I would say it is now time to just unfollow all those shitty meme pages and all those news channels that don't really provide you with any positive information. And instead, dedicate that extra time that you've now got to following your passion and following people that you aspire to be like and then instead of only consuming their content you have to actually act upon it and use the advice that they give you for another piece of piss way that you can upgrade your mindset click on this video above or click on the link in the description below believe you can and you're more than halfway there